going on my nostalgic kids this is Sid checking in with another video this speed art video this will be on speed art video this will be on my main channel um I started drawing this like started working on half of the um shading from Captain K man and I didn't realize my camera was recording so sorry for that but um yeah this is Captain Caveman and KV Jr no outline outline will be like for the facial features like the eyes and the, the lips and um, the little stringy hair that they have um, this was a cartoon that I also loved when I was younger and um, many other people probably remember Captain Caveman from Captain Caveman and Teen Angels I remember that too and he was also in the Scooby-Doo Laugh Olympics and uh, some other stuff and also on Flintstone Kids his son was introduced um, KV Jr. and they also had their own cartoon KV, Captain Caveman and KV Jr. Um, Captain Caveman was a superhero caveman basically he lived on a cave on top of the, the Teen Angels van and I thought it was just awesome they used to solve crimes and all that he didn't speak much English but he was a caveman, so what you what, what can you expect? Um, his son, I'm not, I don't accidentally, I don't, not accidentally, but I don't really remember if his son spoke English in the Frontstone Kids. I'm pretty sure he did, but um, yeah, man, Hanna Barbera had some cartoons, man. Like they made like you know, kid shows, like. Off of their older shit, like you had Flintstones, then you had the Flintstone Kids, you had um, Scooby Doo, then you had a Pup Man Scooby Doo, you had Yogi Bear, then you had Yo Yogi, um, then you had Tom and Jerry, then you had Tom and Jerry Kids, which was in the 90s, early, early, early 90s on Fox Kids, when Fox Kids, when they had Fox Kids. Um, yeah, man, most of these shows don't come on anymore. I don't, um, you have to, like, find, a, see if they got DVDs of these things, or find them, see if you can see them streaming on, uh, see if somebody put them up on YouTube, you'll be lucky to catch them on YouTube, because YouTube take down stuff like that, but, um, or, like, I guess Hulu Plus, I'm not sure Hulu Plus would have something like this on there, because they show some stuff, but they don't show all of it. But it's like these these companies. I hope they just like like just release a whole Hanna Barbera set, like all his cartoons. Even though I know they release all his cartoons on like DVDs, like uh one of them like package deals, it would cost a lot of money. But it would be worth. I think it would be worth it to get that part of your childhood back, or at least like you can buy the DVDs in sections. That would be cool, also. But um. Hey, I don't know if it was actually does somebody know where I can get these DVDs from, like like Captain K man and stuff like that. Let me know in the comment section below. And I maybe mean, I'll buy it one day, man. That's a lot of stuff. Little DVDs I wanna add to my collection. But um I use like basic skin tones that I use and regular other drones, like my anime drones and stuff like that on my main channel. I use basic skin tones. I use the E15 for the, like the the hair and the E11 for the nose and then I highlighted the nose or the skin tone like the nose and hands and feet. That was the E11. Then I use the E13 to highlight them which is like a uh, skin tone like a light suntan like in color but I always like to put some highlights in my draw somewhere and I use the mahogany color for the, the the club because that's what color I think that's what type of color it was in the cartoon it was like the cartoon like for Captain Kid man which is all different types of browns and his kit his cape it was just basically orange and my theory on that, I'm thinking, like, when I seen it, I'm like, what, Fred Flintstone? Parent, that might be a Flintstone's uh, ancestor right there. Because Fred, if you look at Fred Flintstone, he wears a uh, a cloth. And it's, like, the same It's the same color as Captain Caveman cape. 
and like the black spots too. So who knows? Maybe that's what Hanna Barbera was trying to hint at, and nobody really got it. But I know it's a little stuff like that. But hey, or they might have, maybe because they was released at the same time. Like Flintstones had a lot of different spinoffs. You had Captain K, man. But I think Captain K and Teenagers before Flintstones. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. But you had Flintstones, Flintstone Kids. You had the Flintstones Christmas specials. I miss Cartoon Network showing those. They fell off with all that. And anyways, Flintstones is Shamu, little ghost thingy. That was um, a funny cartoon too, man. I might draw some stuff like that soon but because I'm, I'm going to take a little break because I'm burnt out from like the main channel I need like a little break from drawing so I just banged out a lot of drawings for y'all I know it's a new channel I'm almost like almost got 10 videos in within this one week so I banged out a lot of drawings for y'all so don't worry they're scheduled to upload you will see those and I will be back with like a whole bunch of uh bunch of videos man sometimes when you're artists I should have started a second channel earlier so y'all when y'all have like a decent amount of content but between my main channel and this channel you won't have to worry about that you got crazy contact between the both of them content between the both of them the main channel sketch of a set set two and this one you got this one I should put I'm gonna put annotations on some of these videos with my main channel on it um, probably sometime this week, this weekend, or you can just go to my, like, the main, like, page of my channel, and it's right there, and, like, suggested of our channels, it's up there with mine's and my, um, buddy's Chris Keiko page, that does the Playmax and digital art, but, I know, I gotta go back and watch some older cartoons so I can get some more nostalgic drawings. Like all these cartoons, I just stumbled upon, like searching on the internet for like drawn, like for like not fan art, but like references for like certain drawings that I'm doing. And these stuff, the stuff pops up, man. So it's like, hey, draw it, get it on YouTube, man. And I, it's, I don't get it on there just to get it on there. I, like, actually have fun drawing these drawings. That's why they come out the way they do. And I'm pretty sure y'all can see the love that I put in most of these drawings. So, in all these drawings, so. And I'm going to continue to do no outline. And I might do a black outline or something that's probably, like, real detailed or something like that. But lately, I've just been finding a way not to. You know, outline even on the most technical stuff, you put down your base color and then you just highlight it with the next shade of color, next shade of color, next shade of color. You would never notice that I never used a black outline. I didn't got good with it, man. I'm pretty sure some like some people probably gonna try to find some flaws in the no outlines, but that's people just being people, and that's an art form they don't necessarily understand because it's like not almost it's not I guess some people won't consider it a drawing style but it is a drawing style it's basically it's almost like a painting style almost instead of you just paint instead of painting on canvas you're painting on paper and you just putting the colors on on, on on your choice of canvas basically and it's just, you color block it in, you get it in the way you want to get it in, make sure you get it in nice and saturated, and you build on that color. It's basic color theory that you learned in high school or middle school or elementary school in your art class, if your art class taught that. But um, it's Captain Caveman and Cavey Jr. Hope you enjoy. Peace.